Welcome aboard. This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're going to burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. He's tuned and ready to go. You may feel a little tingle. Good. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial. A significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Is a level 7, uh, whatever, bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Ray? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. No, not the containment unit. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Oops, you let one out. That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Hey, this will work out great since you're already strapped into a pack. It's a perfect opportunity for some training. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay, let's go get him then. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited your first time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to vent the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. Spectral entities derive all their strength from an accumulation of PK energy. Blasting them with your proton stream or other offensive equipment helps to dissipate that energy. Dissipating their PK energy also makes them easier to capture. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost's PKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Pack's moving into the red, Cadet! Vent it! Ooh, we lost Slimer. There it is! Ugh, and I thought Slimer was disgusting. All right, you've got it good and winded. Next stage, cap. You can project the capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. 
On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto-select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that tub of goo. Fantastic! You've got it! Soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, whatever you do, keep him in that trap cone. And there! Oh, yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Things like the Dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Scooter? We need to go. Let's roll. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. That's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Sedgwick. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. <laughs> right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. Disturbances don't seem to be exclusive to the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie Those shouldn't monsters. cause us too much trouble. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Mess. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you'd do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city, proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! Nice. Now we got another plaintiff. Oh, come on, Ray. I'm the one that gets a face full of slime every time. Watch it! Contact! All right, showtime. We wear him out, then we capture him. That's what your proton stream is for. Got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. 
The para goggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena while you track it. Ghost trails, object auras, all kinds of cool events. Now when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, you're following a cold trail. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Okay, you got Way to go! Red signifies a hidden ghost. Green indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. Blue means an active sample. Getting warmer. Careful. Getting a good scan is sort of like taking a good snap. Careful. is something you can collect, like a cursed artifact. We get paid extra for everything we scan and collect. Then we roll it back into research and development. The extra funds let us experiment with new equipment and offensive technologies, which in turn, you get to wear on your back to test. Remember, you can always review techniques, tutorials, and equipment in your online Ghostbusters field manual. It's all accessible from your PKE meter. Great! <laughs> I don't feel good! Peter? Come in. You okay? Uh-oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! Come on, shake a leg. You can move faster than that, can't you? Double time, cadet! He's been slimed! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators! That mutant Stromboli snuck up on me. God, funk the fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre-sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our living science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. All right, Slimer. You've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, don't you? Head for now. The ghost with the red cap is fighting hard to hold Stacy. Come on, he's a New York bellhop. Just step in, man. It's not alone. In the box. Bring it in. Ow. They felt that one in Pittsburgh. Hold on! That convulsive PK shockwave really stirred the nest. Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? <laughs> Four of them! Give it to him! They've split up! 
Ray, follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Venkman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he hasn't had his nap. Hey now, is that honey glazed ham and prime rib? There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. The schnutz, you say? Nobody slimes Pete probably like twice and gets away with it. Be careful, Peter. Remember the Ellis Island incident? You bring your apron? We're going to take a little shortcut through the kitchen. The Alhambra should be right through here. Hello, chef. Okay, champion. You leave for All right, don't touch the slime. It's slimy and it's extremely dangerous. I think I'd be used to that stuff by now. Nothing to worry about. Most kitchens have self-starting pilot lights. Hands up. Okay, I dare you. Everything but the kitchen sink. This is why I have to All right, that's all there is to it. You just throw this junk anywhere. <laughs> we don't stick around and clean up. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Barmets, <laughs> Would it kill him to mix in a green salad once in a while? I'm gonna take back him. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture to him. That's it, buddy. You've got the monster breathing hard.
Yeah. Now, try to hold him still. You gotta wear him down. When he's tired, you'll be able to put his sorry crater of a butt into the trap. Yeah, perfect. See? That's a big wow. I don't teach that pitiful goop sack to slime Pete Vega. And by extension, you. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed? Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The bar mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez, Alachayim, from the Ghostbusters. Oh, my lovely hotel. Nice of you guys to join us. You grab the little spud? Ray, we need to have a heart to blob talking to you. Or we are going to this part Uh-oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent troublesome spirits here. Nice screaming! Get in the hang of it. Good trap work. Run! On your left! That's good, keep working. Ooh, right in the bread basket! I've got a hold on it. Running in a pack. Fuck you. All yours! That wasn't such a chore, now was it? Who is going to pay for all of this? No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. No, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No! No. But please, be discreet. Discretion is our professional watchword. Heads up! Whoa! Where did he come from? I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Cadet, go with Dr. Spengler. Check out the Angry Fisherman. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs.
bathtub overflowing up there? More specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with protonically charged seawater. And, um, sea cucumbers? Ray, did you tell the recruit about semi-dimensional rift entities? This type of highly agitated environment is a likely manifestation point. Good work. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. Egon? Ray? It's something new for us, isn't it? First one I've ever seen. It's some type of highly focused anthropomorphic animator. 
An entity which attracts familiar objects to itself so it can materially manifest its rage. It's generating a field of attack. It's losing strength. Keep tearing it down. Wrangle it out. Forks flying at me, but when knives and forks become I'm a big angry giant. That's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was Aida? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's clean and soft and white. And you all are going to like it. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now. Not again! It wasn't me this time, I swear it. <laughs> Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? Ray, weren't you going to finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? It sounds untested. Tacky and exciting! I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god? That was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it would. But a muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Uh-huh. And why would that stop guys that don't know any better? Yeah, man. What are we? The FDA? We'll have to clear a path through this mess first. Get moving! This residue is animating! Morgan, help us! Stay puffed is somehow hatching these mini minions from himself. Well, there's paranormal physiology for you. Always something to make your stomach turn. Nettle some little yarpers! Yep, they look so darn tasty. Blast them! Hey! More trouble! Multiple class 5 FRBs! Inbound! Ray, prepare the muon trap. Switching on the muon trap? Oh yeah. Favorite stuff. Switched on moon. Oh yeah. I'm liking the super slammer. Throw all the ghosts you have at the slammer. You can relinquish your hand. friend. Bye! 
need some cover! Watch it streams are crossing. Kapow, creep! Take that back to the bridge! Don't get them change. You're only encouraging them. Beekman, we need to have a talk about tolerance. I'm detecting something significant behind us. What is that? Am I hearing wings? And gargoyles. Hey, that was a game. Ghosts and gargoyles. A game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and gargoyles. What dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight-sided dice with you? Vaporizing fast enough. There's too much. Damn. It was starting to make good time. And I thought it couldn't become any harder to get around Manhattan. Any ideas? Well, we're not getting through that way now. Hey, cut through this alley. We might be able to head off Stay Pop. We need to find a way around this mess. See, it's either you or Egon, Ray, or Winston. I've had just about enough of the marshmallow parade. Let's go see if we can find us a shortcut. You with me? Spooky and clothesline fresh. Are you kidding me? Haunted laundromat? That looks like our ticket. That tank is leaking gas all over the place. That is a serious safety hazard, man. I wanted to test these first, but since we're waiving that safety step today anyway, you should be aware that I modified the Neutrona wand, which normally releases the particle stream. Wow, it's like Christmas came early. Earlier than what? They started Christmas before Halloween this year. Santa came to my house dressed as Dracula. You guys might want to stand back. How far exactly? Back. Way back. Do I still have eyebrows? Sam, Sam. I said way back. Nicely done. Great job, kid. Yeah. Combustible gasoline. It's the future. Egon, once again on the super swing. I, uh, I'll give it It's a prototype, Peter. You recall the memo from you about getting too many memos on prototypes? Well, I did write that. We modeled a high expansion rapid cycle multiple post absorber. It's faster and larger than our portable units. Am I in jeopardy? Is this a big enough stick to roast this guy? Okay. Okay. Potentially. 
but our exposure to interdimensional deities has been only marginal to date, so it would be wise to anticipate some error. You know, for a big guy, he fights off his sneaky. We should tie a pal around his neck. Somebody needs a ghost. Hindenburg, the opera. Wasn't that show shut down when the stage caught fire and killed the cast? I read the reviews. Oh, the humanity. I had to say that. That's right. Ruthless producers. They just reopened it last week. It's crackling. There must be something really bad about this place. Grab a full scan. Good idea. We should probably have a look around. Guess that means we're not alone. Yep. These are unusual flux patterns. Whoa, wait! Don't touch that. That's what I thought. Black slime. Black slime is a hazardous form of ectoplasmic residue. Toxic to both body and soul. Very dangerous. Egon and I haven't developed clothes and boots sufficient enough to insulate against the negative psychokinetic effects of this stuff yet, so be careful. In other words, the stains don't ever come out. Watch yourself! Look out! That lady's singing! She is so old. Looks like an opera singer. And a hefty one at that. Peter, you better take her. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a chubby chaser? You took out one plump girl, blinder, like her personality, and you guys can't let it go. I don't have time for you right now, Kirk Oil! More of us! Kid, Hindenburg is a terrible show. Times Square, post-urban renewal, all shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that him? It's hard to miss. Egon, how close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. What's he up to now? He's looking for something. Is he looking for something or someone? If you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. 
It is madness out here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man star of the popular children's television show is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puft we've come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived to put everything back to normal. It's damaged. I've got to fix it or we won't stand a chance. We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building Stay Puft is so interested in. You guys keep him off us if you think you can. He knows you're there, Ray. I don't think he likes it. Yep, he spotted us. Keep moving! Keep away from those feet! He'll stomp you into jelly! Boson darts! Nice boson! That really dinged him! Great job! Now see if he wants s'more. Get it? I'm funny too, you know. Here he comes! Evasive maneuvers! Stick close to me and as far away from him as you can. Bankman, you've got to distract them. Bankman, are you getting coffee? Bankman's getting coffee. Pepper him with boson darts! Them up. Boy, he's really bad. There's our way in. Break for it. Just a level 5 thought form cross rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calm. Make no sudden movements. What the? Uh oh. He didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. Come on. We've got to get to the top floors. Going up. Uh, he uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fine. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator! Excuse us. Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Oh, I missed them. Huh? Uh oh, no sudden movements. Okay, it sure got quiet all of a sudden. They're in the fence. 
You're in the fence! Overtime generating these little creeps. The janitors are going to have to break out the big brooms tomorrow morning. up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting, and they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. Ah! Showtime. No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. Movement! Sudden movements! Wow, check it out, kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan, I love it. Scooter? We need to go, let's roll. It's okay, Dr. Venkmahesha. You're fine now. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things, anyway? Uh, yeah, probably. It just may be. Could be. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here, or the scenic route to its ladies' choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that, in a lady. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet, before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. We're not getting out of here that way. Well, it was a good plan for a second. Okay, let's think. What did people do before stairs? Was it ladders or just jumping from rock to rock? We go up then, to the roof. Ah! Well, how? Huh? Stay up, spotted us. Move, move. Well, that's some relief. Come on, let's go. Stay back. I'm 
the right! Don't stop! You own that creep! Great job! Hmm. Well, that kisses my boo a little bit. from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving! Here he goes! Big Evil Sailor all the way to the... Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray. Say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to Terramon Park. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar high. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. Good news. We've got the Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the state pump there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? All right there, Sunshine. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes! The Big Daddy manifestation himself! A raging blob of densely packed marshmallow! Oh boy! Melt him, Chief! Give him full screen! He's right, Rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. More of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? Oh, I sixty. Those on guards should do the trick. Is that his upset look? What do you think? on darts. Ghostbusters 2, Gozer the Gozerian 0, looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through. 
Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and- I am Dr. Peter Venkman, and that's Egon. It's uh, Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai, Mexican, Japanese? Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery one too, Charlie. So charming. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes. Of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit? The expert Peck recommended is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself? Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's why your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, 
So does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on it. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Illusa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. <laughs> Well, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it going to go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the great lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat calls and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually.